With the crimes we report, child abuse cases are some of the most difficult. A three-year-old victim from a small town in San Pete County is a reason why a big proposal is headed to Utah's Capitol Hill. New specialist Nicole Val is there tonight. What's the proposal? Deanie, lawmakers are working right now hoping to introduce this bill during the 2017 legislative session that helps protect families and children from child abusers. Right now it's called Miley's Bill, but Miley's family is hoping it will soon become Miley's Law. <laughs> there we go. She is doing way better than we ever expected. Many people in the small town of Manti call Miley White a miracle. She walks, she talks, she goes to preschool. She still has a long road ahead of her, but she has improved a lot since the incident happened. In October 2013, Miley looked like this. Doctors said she likely wouldn't survive. We were told that um, she had lost a quarter of her brain. Miley's father was convicted of felony child abuse after violently shaking his then seven-month-old daughter. Thank you for coming. But with the strength of this community, the fight for Miley and victims just like her has only gained momentum and now the attention of lawmakers. We're calling this Miley's bill to honor her. Uh -huh. Miley's bill is currently being drafted to create a child abuse registry aiming to protect Utah children and families. But this registry will, will uh, require that those who are convicted of a felony in the state of Utah for ch any type of child abuse would then have to sign up on the child abuse registry. For three years, this community has stood behind Miley. Now they're ready to take a stand to protect every child in our state. And we hope someday Miley will be able to understand that she is amazing and she is the reason for this. Now, if the bill makes it past the governor's desk next year, Utah would be the second state in the U.S. aside from Indiana to have a public registry listing convicted child child abusers. Deanie.